Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to very quickly create a backend RESTful API. All right, so we're going to be using Sales. Sales is an MVC framework that runs on top of Node.js. All right, so you're going to need Node.js, uh, Node.js.org, and go ahead and click the install. Uh, and if you're lose, using Linux or Mac, of course, you can use your package managers to install it. Um, and as for a command line tool, you're going to need some kind of shell. Uh, I'm going to use the tool that comes with Git, the Git Bash tool. Um, and you can get it here if you want. If you're on Windows, go ahead and just download it and install it. All right, so let's go and create a new folder. I'm going to go right in my C drive and create a projects folder. And I want to open a command line to that folder. Uh, if you install the git program, you should have this git bash option. All right, now we're going to need to install sales. And again, you have to have node, uh, node and npm. So we're going to say npm install sales. I'm sorry, install g sales. Okay, so the g is for global. Uh, that means that you'll be able to access it from anywhere on your system. All right, so you don't want to forget that. And this will take probably about a minute. I'm going to pause it and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so sales is now installed. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And you can do that with sales new and then the name of the project. I'm going to call this client API. All right, um, now what this is going to be is it's going to be an API for a client management application. Uh, so it'll store the client's name, email address, things like that. Um, I'm not going to build the applicate the actual application around the API, at least not in this video. I might do that um, later on, but I just want to show you how to get a RESTful API up and running that we can actually make requests to. All right, so let's go into that client API folder, and you can see that we have our application structure here. And we can probably look at look at it through Explorer, be a little bit easier. And basically, all the backend stuff goes in this API folder: the controllers, models. You can write your own policies, responses, services. All right, so all the stuff, all the API stuff, will go in there. Um, so now, what we want to do is create our client's API. So inside of our command line, let's do sales generate API and then clients or whatever the resource name is. Okay, so you can see it says created a new API. And if we go in API controllers, you'll see we have a clients controller. All right, and if I open that up, it's going to basically a blank page, it has the module export so that we can access it elsewhere. Um, and then it also created a model for us. Okay, the model just has a blank attributes object. All right, so just with that, with that one line to generate an API, we have it available to us. All right, so let's start the application. Okay, so to do that, you want to say um, sales lift. Can't type today. And it's going to go ahead and, and show you this message um, because we created a model. And it's just asking how you want to handle um, database migrations. So let's just choose number two for now, which is alter. And I'll show you how to get rid of that too. OK, so now we're running in a development environment on port 1337. All right, so we should be able to go to localhost 1337. And this is the landing page that they give you. Uh, it's just basically some information and some links to some of the documentation. All right, but we are up and running. To access the API, we just want to say slash clients, and you should see just uh, empty brackets here. All right, so this is in fact working. It's serving up our clients. We just don't have any. All right, so we need to add some, and there's a really cool way to, to um, add to your API or make requests right through your browser and it's called blueprints and that enables you to do things like slash create 
and let's say first name equals John and last name equals Doe and email will say equals jdoe at gmail.com all right now we just made a post request to our API and now we have a client if we want to add another one let me just change these around let's say Mike last name Smith and then we'll go ahead and change the email all right and now we have another client now if we go back to just slash clients you can see we now have John and Mike as a client and we have the stuff we entered and then we also have these other fields we have an ID which was created for us we have a created at date and then an updated at date all right and just to show you um, we can make requests from other places let's go ahead and open up um, postman which is a Chrome extension that allows you to make all kinds of HTTP requests all right uh, I already have the URL in here so let's start with actually let me delete these I already did these let's make a get request okay so we just want to send and there you can see our two clients and we can also make a post so I'll say post and again this is just data I had in here from before you should just have something like this all right so let's go ahead and add a whoops not a Durst we want a first name okay let's just say Tom last name we'll say um, I don't know Johnson and email we'll say Tom at gmail.com all right so let's go ahead and make that post request and you can see down here it gives us back what we entered in addition it gives us the the other fields that it creates and then if we go back to the browser and reload clients we now have Tom added alright so you can see we can make requests from anywhere we can even delete alright so let's go back whoops let's go and change this to delete and we want to include the client's ID so let's see Tom's already in there let's get his ID uh, three okay so let's just put in ID is three and then let's change it to post and send all right now if we go back to the browser oh wait what did I do I didn't want to do that I didn't mean to do that I wanted to do a delete so change that to delete okay make sure the ID is there and send all right so now they're both gone because they both had the same ID all right so that's all I wanted to do in this video um, I will probably make another couple videos on sales and maybe even use this API and add to it uh, build an application around it um, so be on the lookout for that and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.